In this video, I'm going to show you how to re-trigger a snare drum. Simply replace it all together if you like, or blend it in with the original one. In this scenario here, in this real working production, the producer didn't have enough microphones. So they captured the overheads, but put a trigger on the snare drum, knowing that we could use this technique later on in the mix. And they were right. Let's take a listen to this and you'll hear how bad the snare drum is. Remember, it's a trigger. All right, you get the idea. Now, it's really easy to do, and this is a powerful and very common technique. Here in Studio One, because Melodyne 4 is integrated into the program thanks to Audio Random Access, a plugin that is proprietary to Melodyne, you can simply right-click on any audio and choose Edit with Melodyne, and there it is. Just appears, ready for editing. As simple as that. Now that the audio has been analyzed by Melodyne, it can now be converted to MIDI information. So what I did is I created a track here. We'll call it AD2. It's an instrument track here in Studio One Pro. And from my browse menu, I dragged in Addicted Drums 2. Now you can utilize any virtual instrument you want at all. It works the same. Once the audio is converted to MIDI, it's fair game. But what you really want to make sure of is that it's triggering the right MIDI note to sound the snare drum. So select your audio here, the waveform, the snare that we're go going to convert to MIDI and drag it onto the instrument track. And now it's converted to MIDI information. Here we can see it right there in our MIDI edit window. Now we'll select the audio and move this range of MIDI notes to where we're triggering a snare drum. There you go. So let's take a listen. I will just solo the new snare drum. A handy technique to do prior to this is to gate your waveform. For example, you could remove some of the bleed from, from the microphones that may have hi-hat or some kick in it. So if you gate your snare in advance, I often will render that as a new waveform and then import it into my session prior to audio to MIDI conversion. Now let's hear that in the mix. Before we had this. And now we've got this. And a really cool advantage to this is you can audition different snare drums while the audio is playing back. And it's as easy as that. So utilizing audio to MIDI is a real powerful creative way to enhance your workflow, especially when you're taking tracks like individual drum tracks like we did here, like the snare drum, converting it to MIDI data and triggering any sample that we want at all. Now you know. I'm Carlo and thanks for watching.